I participated in a swap in my Facebook group, Two Old Crows Mixed Media. The theme was insects, and I made these three tags you see, the dangles, and a book closure out of a masterboard. Let me introduce my channel and I'll show you what I did. sheets of eight and a half by 11 black cardstock and I am also going to be using my scraps I keep my scraps in two containers one for small pieces of scraps like this and another for larger pieces I'm pulling them out choosing color that I think will coordinate complement and work well together and my thought process is just to get these laid down to create a colorful background. To start, I want to cover the 8.5 by 11 sheets of this black cardstock with book pages. The book pages, one, give a nice background. They also provide some substance to the cardstock or increase the substance of the cardstock. I'm utilizing a glue and water mixture and just adhering down the book pages. I'd like to line up the edges, the straight edges, and make sure that I have a nice clean edge. It also reduces a lot of the trimming and minimizes a lot of the waste. So let's begin gluing and get these book pages put into place. And just like that, we are done and have both sides completely covered, dry, and ready to go. Now to lay the paper down. So I'm putting pieces of color randomly throughout the sheet. I like to work in threes. So I'll take one color, put it on in three different places. That kind of gives me some continuity in the sheet when I start to cut it apart. And now that I'm getting to, to the end, I'm starting to like the colors that I am seeing here. I am also have added in, I had a piece of um, printed paper that had all of these women on there. And I thought they would go well with my insect theme. They can be the individual that studies insects. And I'm... Not sure what they call those, entomologists? Is that, is that the proper word? But anyway, they are going to be a professional that studies insects. I have the script stamp that I'm going over everything. And now just adding some grunge with vintage photo around the edges and kind of throughout. So I've taken the vintage photo, hit it, the entire master board with the script stamp, and now I'm coming back with black with a stamp that is the postage stamp. And just doing the same, just going across the board. I'm pulling out some gesso if I can get it open and I just want to push some of this to the back with a little bit of gesso so I'm putting some on my fingers and just rubbing it around <clears throat> excuse me and once that dries I'll come back and hit it with that script stamp again
and I'm using the black this time on the script stamp and going over the top of that gesso. I'm going to trim up the master board and you can see by laying my book pages down utilizing the edges I don't have a whole lot of trimming or a whole lot of waste here. I've added in my gesso, script stamped it up, pushed it to the back, and now I want to add some gold splatter. And I am just putting some gold paint over to the side, spritzing it with water to thin it out, pulling out my fan brush, and splattering it across the page. And I don't think there's anything that doesn't become enhanced a bit with a little sprinkle of gold. Now let's let that dry, flip it over, and work on making the back a little more interesting. And I'm doing the same thing. I just grunged it up a little bit with the vintage photo, taking the black and going across it with the script stamp. I'm going to pour out some more gold and just kind of dust that gold across the back of the page. We'll also splatter. Push some of it to the background with a little bit of that gesso. Come back on top of the gesso with the script stamp. And now for the splatters. And I think that's good. This is going to be the back of my tags and the back of my dangles, or it might be the front of my dangles, who knows. But in any event, I don't want anything, I don't need a bunch on the back. Now that that has dried, I'm cutting and I want to kind of line this piece up on my little cutting board here so that I have the image of this woman centered on my tag. And the tags can be two, anywhere from two to three inches wide, anywhere from four to six to seven inches in length. And it's, that's just personal preference. Divide up your master board however you choose. I have made the decision to get three tags out of this master board. And with the three tags, I also still have a lot of offfall of the master board. And that's where the dangles and my book closure come in. So now that I have cut it, I'm just going back side on on each piece and making sure that it's glued tightly. I have a playing card that I have just cut one side off of. I use that as my template to create my tag. And we'll just put the little hole in. I have a little slit hole maker. And that slit hole maker I love, if you like that, you can find it over on my website, on my shopping page, where I have all of my Amazon links. I've pulled out my dies. And I think I'm going to cut a hole and cut the lady out. So I'm trying to choose a circle die that gets the entire image, but maybe isn't too much. And I want to display my insect through the hole, and then I will place the image of the lady on top of the tag. 
So we have the hole cut, took it over to my Big Shot and ran it through with that die in place. And now I want to just ink around the outside edge of the card and ink around the inside of that hole. And I have some butterfly stickers. These are too big. I'm going to have to find some smaller ones. I have a whole little box of stickers. And we'll set these big ones aside and maybe use them on another tag. Now I also have all of these small pieces that we're going to get to here in a second. But I want to get my tags cut so I have three tags cut. I'm defining the top of them and placing the slit in the top. And I have one more that I want to cut a hole out of. I'll get that die, take that over to my big shot. These little strips were left when I cut the tags out at the end of the masterboard. I'm cutting them off in just random lengths and I'm going to be utilizing those as dangles and I'm going to be utilizing them as little focal pieces on the front of my tags. And I have these two larger pieces left that I'm setting aside and I thought note cards and I decide instead of the note cards to come back and make a book closure out of that. So we'll deal with that a little bit later. I'm positioning some of those little pieces that I cut onto these tags to kind of determine which ones I want to use, where they're going to go, and I'll glue them into place here in a little bit. So I'm still kind of in the configuring stage here as to what exactly am I going to do with this tag to make it be interesting enough that someone will enjoy receiving it. I found my small little butterfly. I'm adhering him or her to a piece of acetate. And now I'm just trying to decide if I want a background behind. I'm going to cut that acetate and glue that acetate down. And I think that he looks kind of lost there in the center of that circle. So I have my liquid pearls and a circle template and I'm just outlining around that circle template and drawing that little circle with the liquid pearls around that butterfly. And I think that creates a little more interest there. Now let's add some liquid pearls and some little dots. And I think that's going to look nice now. Because I can't let things dry. I've smeared it a little bit. So let me clean that up with a baby wipe and maybe scrape it off with my X-Acto. And I think we're good to go. So set it aside, Peggy. Let it dry. Let it dry. So let's work on this other tag. Here are the two little pieces that I cut. And I'm just going to stagger and stack them. And now I want to cut a piece of black cardstock to cover the back of that hole. Now I'll cut the acetate as well. I got out of frame a little bit here. I'm sorry. 
but you can see what I'm doing. I just cut the acetate to the same size as the little black piece of cardstock, and I'm going to glue the acetate to the cardstock. Then I'm going to glue the whole piece behind that hole so you can just see the butterfly peeking through. There we go. Now let's just take those liquid pearls and go around the inside of that hole with the liquid pearls. So now we have a double line of liquid pearls. And we'll re-dot that top. and set it aside and try not to touch it until it is dry. On the second tag, I cut a little rectangular space. I'm putting some black cardstock over the top of that. I am going to take the piece that I cut out and just offset it over the top of that rectangular hole. And then the lady that I cut out, I'm going to lay her right staggered over the top of this. So that is where she found her home. So now I have two cards coming together. We have the one with the butterfly in the center hole. We have the lady staggered over a rectangular cut. And now I'm pulling out some cheesecloth to kind of add to those little pieces, the little rectangular pieces that I cut to add a layer to those and create just a little more interest in how we're staggering those little pieces on. So we're going to grab a piece, put it on a little bit of cheesecloth, and pull in some string and add some string as well. And I've just chosen a black thread, and I'm just wadding the thread and putting some glue down to tap it into. So we'll start with one little rectangle. We'll Dap that glue down and put the cheesecloth and the thread. And we'll sandwich that between the second little rectangle. And I think that creates kind of a nice little focal point down there at the bottom of the card. And I have something else I'm going to add to it here in a second. But let's get that same thing done on this second tag. So it's the little rectangular piece that we cut, a little piece of cheesecloth, and we'll bunch up some thread. And make sure that's adhered down in that glue. And then we'll put, kind of offset, a second rectangle. And there, they're starting to come together. We 
might as well add some liquid pearls. We'll set those aside and decide, configure a little bit on this back piece and determine what we're going to do here. I think I need to think about it a little bit more. So I'm happy with that, but I've pulled out the shrink plastic, cut it into little squares, and stamped it with a butterfly. And now I'm putting the heat gun to it and creating these little tiny hard pieces of plastic um, with the butterfly. So we're starting with that larger butterfly stamp, stamping it on shrink plastic, hitting it with the heat gun, and creating some little focal images. And now I'll just top that on top of those little rectangular offsets. So there. Now I have two little butterflies on that card. And that works with my theme, insects. So now to determine, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that back. I like the way the front looks, so we'll get there. So let's veer off and create these dangles. Might as well keep ourselves busy while I'm thinking, right? So I have all these little rectangles. I'm poking a hole through each one of them. And I've just pulled out my crocodile and using the smallest setting on the crocodile and going through each one of the little rectangles that I created. I'm going to corner round some of them. Some of them I'm going to leave them in with the sharp edges. So now they all have holes punched in them. Some have been taken to the corner rounder. Some are going to be left with the sharp angles. Now I'm going to pull out my grommets and I'm going to set a grommet in each one of them. Not a grommet, an eyelet. I'm going to set an eyelet in each one of them. So I'm just going to stick my eyelet in and pull out my crocodile eyelet, whatever this little piece of equipment is called, but it's just an eyelet setter. And I will just... Put that into place, or set that into place. And I will do that on each one of those dangles. So all of the dangles are complete. I'm back to, back to the tags. And I appreciate you kind of going all over the place with me, but I thought rather than doing a edit and just do the tag, that I would show you everything I did with the master board in the order that I did it and in the steps that I took. So I have that third tag now. I put just a couple of um, butterfly stickers on this one, and I will do that same little offset with the small pieces. And this I kind of considered the bonus tag. It's smaller. We'll take that thread and get that thread bunched up. But I did want to show you what I did with this third tag. The first two were a little more detailed. This one is, is just kind of a couple of stickers and this offset.
And of course, we'll add the shrinky dink. Some liquid pearls. And we'll call that one complete. Now for these dangles, I've decided to emboss them. So I have my Versamark. This is just clear inking stamp pad that gets the piece wet so the embossing powder will adhere to it. So I've put embossing powder on it. I'm going to pull out my heat gun. And just set that embossing powder. <clears throat> and this is going to give this tag or this dangle, just a, a sheen and some substance. It also kind of uh, protects the paper, if you will, if you're creating a dangle. It keeps it from the paper with it being moved and touched and you know how dangles, you're always kind of running them through your hands. But this kind of protects it and creates more of a charm, if you will. For, for the dangle. So I'm going to put the embossing powder on both sides and really seal that paper in with the embossing powder. And it, then it just kind of clinks when you touch it and clinks when you drop it onto to the table. It becomes more, more substantial, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And I did just one first to make sure that I liked it, and then I kind of did them all at the same time, pulled all of them in, inked them all up, put the embossing powder on all of them, and then hit the heat gun to them kind of one at a time. So I'm just doing my test piece right here. But this is kind of how they look. They, they turn out pretty decent. And I have all of them now completed. The eyelets, may, I made sure I put my pick, craft pick through all of those eyelets to make sure I didn't close up any of the eyelets and have just secured everything with that embossing powder. And now I am going to work on the last piece of this, which is the book closure. And I have those two, we had those two pieces that were bigger that I thought I would use for note cards. And the more I thought about it, I think I'm going to create a book cover out of those. So I've put them together and cut the hole on each side. I corner rounded the top one The ink around the outside edge. And now I'm going to emboss the top one and give that some sheen and some, some, some substance. And I'm using just a clear, thick embossing powder. It's a thicker grain embossing powder. And we'll just set that.
And now that is going to be nice, substantial, shiny. And we'll glue that to the top of the other piece. Line up those holes. And that's going to look nice as a book closure. I'll put some uh, elastic lace through those holes. And that will make a nice closure for a book. So I'm finish it off with some liquid pearls. I have it clipped together to make sure that it glues well. And that finishes everything up. You can see the elastic lace on this. And I'm not going to finish off or tie off that lace until I decide which book. Here are the dangles that we created. Card tag number one with the little lady that looks so official studying her insects. The shrinky dink on top of the little offsets there. The butterfly living in his little circular home. And that completes everything. So I hope you enjoyed. I know it was a longer video, but I thank you for sticking with me. And I hope that you will take a moment and give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. I shall say bye for now.